Hey guys, Jamie and Patty here. We received a suit. And Theo. This is Patty's Goffins cockatoo Theo. Right? She is, how old is she? 30? About 35. Uh, she's, uh, she's old, but she is just <laughs> hanging in there really healthy, really happy. She bird. doesn't act old. No, she doesn't. <laughs> you'd, never, you'd never know by looking at her. Very, very healthy bird. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So she, we thought she could help us stay with our video. And it's kind of a different take today. We received a really generous package in the mail from a friend, I want to say, I want to call her a friend, mm -hmm. and a YouTube fan and Facebook fan. Um, her name is Caroline. And we got a very nice letter that I'm going to read you, but um, she sent us teas because she has her own tea business. So we are super excited. And so is we Theo. We love tea. We're we love big tea. big fans of tea here. So I feel like she's genuinely been following us to know that. Yeah, I'm I mean, because that's, like, that's like a personal thing. Yeah, and, even when know. we do our confessionals, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my tea. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to read you guys her letter because it's incredibly sweet and the background on it is really fantastic and what she says is very touching. So, dear Patty and Jamie Lee, hello ladies. Please find enclosed a wee present which I hope you will both enjoy. I wanted to send these to say thank you for all the marvelous work you do on Facebook and YouTube. My boy Charles, a black-headed kayak, came to live with me nearly two years ago. He was living with a former employee of mine from a chick, and I'm afraid it was the usual story of a family getting a cute pet, but that cutie turning into a monster at adolescence. After several nasty bites and a lot of screeching, he ended up cage-bound and tucked out of the way for nearly 15 years. No toys, no sun or UV light, and a sunflower seed-based diet. Mm. Sadly, we do hear about that a lot. Yeah. I offered to feed their pets one week while they were away on holiday, and it was love at first sight when I met Charles. Total connection from first eye contact. Seeing my adoration for him, the family offered, i.e. begged, <laughs> me to have Charles, and I became a parent for the first time. I delayed the adoption for a month because I wanted to learn everything I could before taking him on. Having no experience with birds, I knew I needed to absorb a lot. I came across your site very quickly as several blogs and Facebook posts mentioned you guys. In that first month, I watched every one of your YouTube posts. That's... That's insane. Insane. Do you have a job? <laughs> I was going to say impressive, <laughs> but insane is a bit more accurate. I think we have over like a thousand videos, so... Talk about binging. <laughs> yeah, binge watching. binge watching. Binge <laughs> watching. Jamie Lee, the relationship you have with your birds is one I emulate. I feel like a stalker. It set up my relationship with Charles so well from the get-go. And all the amazing blog posts. Patty, I love your thinking and writing style. It suits my own. Now watching you with wor working with Morgan, it has come to a perfect time when I'm starting to feel flat with my training with Charles and that it had plateaued. I think we have very similar personalities, feeling more comfortable intellectualizing things before implementing them, which is why I've benefited so much from watching you training with Jamie. I've said it before in YouTube and Facebook comments, but thank you for being so open and constructive to criticism from Jamie and potential judgment from inner web land. Thank you. Um, like I said, she set up her own tea business about seven years ago, and she wrote, you give so much of your energy and professional knowledge for free. I know that you also have a desire to improve the lives of companion birds. Your products look amazing, and one day I will have a one-on-one -on -one session. I hope you accept the enclosed as a gift to say thank you for all the wonderful information and experience you have given me. Both Charles and my life have been significantly improved because of your work. Lots of love and very best wishes, Caroline. That is such a sweet letter. And to return the favor, this is her company, and I want to show you some of the teas. Want to hold that? Yeah. I want to show you some of the teas that she gave us. Um... This is so exciting. We, we, we're cracking them open and smelling them. Yeah. Okay, here's one. Uh, orange Spice Ceylon. Mm. Ginger green tea. I love ginger. Garden fruit and herbs. And what are we going to do with these? So, I'm having a party here soon for Easter that's all my family and closest friends coming. And um, I was planning on making homemade teas. Which she serve. makes a lot of them and she, they're yeah. absolutely delicious, but she was going to branch out a little bit for this party. I was. I had looked up some like Pinterest recipes and I was going to try all this stuff, but now that I have all of these, I'm going to do these. Because <laughs> I literally have a variety of how many? One, two, three, four, four five. five. We also have um, English berry breakfast. breakfast. Ooh. And um, chamomile tea, Ooh. which that there, which um, there are several teas that uh, you can use with parrots. Among them is chamomile, and we'll be trying this. This is a nice. Um, if you have a parrot that has a hard time settling down, this is a really great tea to you know give them before bedtime. 
And no, you can't have She's it. She's going for it. <laughs> Let me open that for you. <laughs> um, and uh, so that's that's one thing. Uh, the uh, herbal teas are are great for birds as long as they're not medicinal in uh, their intention. Um, the flavored teas. The only thing you have to really look out for is anything that's caffeinated. So you want to avoid that. But other than that, there's a whole lot of applications for teas. If you have a bird that is um, gets car sick, uh, you could use a ginger tea or you could use a peppermint tea. And those are fine and perfectly safe. Um, just avoid the caffeinated teas. And we are so excited about this. And you are just so kind to have you know, and you live, you live in, in, in the UK, the UK. So it's kind of like, this is a, you know, normal thing for you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I was going to say it's a big deal for you to send these all the way over to us in, in, here in the United States. And we're very appreciative and we're going you. to dive into these. Yeah. Thank you. When you see us in future videos, sipping tea, you'll know. Yeah. They went to um, the UPS store. And so you guys were Yeah, gone we have for a, a we kind of have a, a mailbox that catches all of our mail and then we go and we pick it up when we remember. When Just you remember <laughs> all that often. I personally don't send anything there. Dave sends his stuff, so I never check it. <laughs> um, so we got this. Yeah. And he comes home with the box and we're going, Oh, it's for us and we're you know, like I'm starting to crack it over getting all excited. And Dave's going, No, wait, you have to do a video about this. But yeah. So we started to open it and then we decided that we were gonna wait and share it with all of you guys. Mm -hmm. And you know, So we haven't of, even had any of this tea yeah. yet because we've been waiting. <laughs> Patty said I couldn't open them all. Yeah. She just <laughs> opened this one here to just because we had to smell it, and it's absolutely that one right there. It's absolutely delicious, smelling so aromatic. Yeah. So thank you again, Caroline. We really appreciate you for appreciating us. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, yeah. and for all the kind words too. That really means a lot to us. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, guys. Okay.